Welcome to Module 22, Hedging the Ball Screen. Hedging a ball screen occurs when the screener's defender jumps past the screen for a brief moment in order to impede the ball handler's path forward and allow more time for the on-ball defender to recover. Here are some basic points to help you when hedging a ball screen. As mentioned, a team can use a soft hedge or a hard hedge, which really just refers to how far out and for how long the screener's defender makes his or her hedging action. Finally, take a quick look at the context for this module. In this first example, we see the ball with the highlighted player. As he swings it out to the right, we see him follow his pass to set a ball screen. Keep your eye on number 21, the screener's defender. Continuing very briefly, we can see that he begins to move out past the screener while keeping his left hand on the screener's hip so that the ball handler isn't able to split them. We can then see at this moment the position that the screener's defender has taken has pushed the ball handler back, impeding his momentum downhill. What we see here is definitely more of a hard hedge than a soft hedge, but of course, it's not black and white. We'll then see the defender executing the last part of a hedge, which is to sprint back to his own assignment, which we see him beginning to do. Unfortunately, despite a very solid hedge from the screener's defender, the on-ball defender still gets beat around the edge, and the white team gives up a foul. Here we see the ball with the player on the far right side of the screen. As he makes a pass to a player coming off of an off-ball screen, let's pause here and notice a few things. The first and most obvious is that the screener's defender here is too late to hedge. If he were to begin to jump forward now, the screener would have all the space in the world to roll or pop. Let's move forward a fraction of a second. We can see the screener's defender still tries to hedge, leaving a ton of space open for the screener. The other mistake shown here is that neither defender has his hands up in the air to make the pass to the screener difficult. We will explore the actions of the help side defenders more in the lesson, but this is a case where a third defender, in this case this player, can help out, which would take the form of a bump or a shrink on the screener. As we see, the screener is able to receive the pass fairly easily, with tons of space to shoot or drive. In this case, the white team getting quite lucky that he's not able to finish it. So, it's important to make sure that the hedge comes on time, so that the screener isn't able to get an easy roll or pop. In this last clip, we'll see an example of a very aggressive hard hedge. As the highlighted player sets up the ball screen, we can see the screener's defender here has jumped forward quite far out, really pushing the ball handler back towards half court and getting his hands up to make a pass almost impossible for him. This is called an over under, as we will see the on ball defender actually move to his right underneath the screener's defender. As he does this, the screener's defender is able to take a swipe at the ball and almost forces a turnover. So, this is a great example of a very aggressive approach when using a hard hedge, in which the opportunistic screener's defender recognizes a moment to try and make a play on the ball. When you're ready, please move on to the lesson to work through what we've learned in the video.